I'm here with Mark Bodie, a graphic artist, graffiti artist, comic book artist, and all time good guy. Uh, how are you doing, Mark? I'm doing pretty good. Yep. Uh, so what are you doing here at Supernova? Well, uh, it's the first time that I've ever been to a, a comic convention in, uh, in Australia. And, uh, and how are you finding it? Oh, I love it. You know, like there's a lot of uh, spray can uh, graffiti heads coming out of the woodwork. Yeah. To come and get our artwork and, and and pick up our our merchandise and our T-shirts and stuff like that. Which is really interesting because you have an interesting background. You started in the graffiti world before you started doing comics, correct? Uh, the other way around. Oh, other way around. Sorry, yeah. my mistake. Uh, so how did it all start for you? Well, it all started when well with my father. My father was Vaughn Bodie, and he he was a cartoonist in the '60s and '70s. Uh, and uh, he did Cheech Wizard, The Lizards, Junk Waffle, Erotica, Dead Bone. All these comic books came out uh, in the in the late '60s, early '70s, and uh, they influenced graffiti art all over the world. I mean, it started on New York City subway trains, and then it went. It just started rippling out, and, and it, now it's all the way around the world. You know, like it's probably the most sampled art you know characters uh, in comics mm. is probably my father's creations and uh, and I followed in his footsteps I was like six seven years old when he started teaching me son this is how you draw tits <laughs> and that's what he t first taught me to draw I mean he said if you draw them this way you will always make money and have you been making money? I make money like crazy. So you've been drawing pretty well, right? <laughs> Just drawing tits. It's amazing. Uh, so, and you also walked on uh, <laughs> like a lot of graffiti walls, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm all over, you know, like Barcelona, London, Amsterdam, uh, you know, and then of course in the States, I've, I've done murals. I uh, got a big jam I did with uh, Os Gimos, uh, the twins from Brazil, oh, who yeah. are like really hot in the, uh, in the spray can world. They, in fact, they're, they're just about at the top of the list as far as, uh, as, as popularity goes. And uh, uh, we worked together on a seven story uh, building in downtown San Francisco. It's the biggest Cheech Wizard in the world. And uh, it's on the back of the Warfield Theater. And is that one you highlight, the one you're most proud of? Like, I'm guessing you're pretty proud of that. It's probably the biggest and, and probably the best location. Yeah. You know, it's like right downtown San Francisco. Can't miss it. Seven stories high. You know, uh, it's not the best neighborhood in the world. But it's, it's interesting because uh, bef uh, before we did the piece, uh, there was just all kinds of drug dealing and junkies and you know and all riffraff on all around but after the piece was went up they all had to move because of all the paparazzi that was coming in there so so, so art has this ability to uh so to basically real estate agents if you want to get rid of scum in the neighborhood hire this guy <laughs> yeah there you go <laughs> um and you've also worked on the teenage mutant ninja turtles comic books uh, is that correct uh, yeah, I worked on Turtles for about seven years. Yep. Uh, Kevin Eastman uh, is a good friend of mine. He created, he co-created it, and uh, we worked on the original comic book line back in the uh, '90s. So, uh, if people want to come and buy your stuff or look at some of your work, they can go to markbody.com or on Instagram, Mark V Bodie. Is that right? Yes, yep. Mark V, like Vaughn mm -hmm. Bodie. Yeah.